Hey, what's up everyone? It's the 21st of February and I'm wearing t-shirts. It's like 17 degrees Celsius, perfect weather. It's kind of weird, but I appreciate it. So yeah, today we'll talk a bit about techniques uh, with F3K glider. So it's about managing the flight envelope, kind of. How far can you go? Or how well can you come back from downwind? How high should you go? And yeah, all of this kind of thing. And why should you not fly over your head? So we will see many things today. I really hope you will enjoy this content. If you already enjoy my content and you are following a bit the channel, please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to enable the notification bell. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go fly. So I'm quite warmed up right now. I did already a few times the French version because yeah, uh, you need to know I don't do everything first try all the time and for filming it's <laughs> very true. So today as I said already I will explain to you why you should not fly over your head and how to know the glide slope of your glider. So it's really really simple. You, you need to know your glider. I can't teach you. Uh, you have a a 6.5, an NXT, an energy, a snipe, you should go back at this distance. No, you need to learn your glider because it really depends where you live in the world, what is the weather, what is the weight of the glider, what is the CG, what is the settings, it's all of this. So you need to learn your glider because nearly all gliders are unique and all pilot is unique. So you need to learn it. But I can teach you how to learn your glider. Yeah. So, what you need to do? Find a calm day like this with not much turbulence, a bit of thermals, it's better because you can have fun otherwise, and just launch like 10 15 meters high, like this. Okay, then go straight downwind, but really straight downwind for you relative to your body. And then, when you feel like it's a moment, just make a turnaround and come back to you. And then you can judge how well your glider is gliding. What is the gliding slope? The glide ratio, kind of. And you need to do that to learn how your glider is going to come back to you from what distance. Because the target for us in contest or even every time, it's really nice when your glider just comes to land to your feet. And yes, I'm wearing only a t-shirt and we are the 21st of February. It's kind of crazy. It's 17 degrees Celsius, so I don't know what is it in Fahrenheit, but it's kind of warm. It's not usually that warm in this uh, season. So yeah, back to glider. Uh, so you need to learn what your glider will glide <laughs> how much your glider will glide relative to the altitude it is so if you turn around at there obviously it will go over your head and to test the glide you need your glider to be well set so it goes over my head so i was too close and if you if it land before you it was it was too far so you need to learn by the visual how far and how high your glider need to be to come back to you. And always keep a margin. I will explain to you why right now. Because when you come back straight to you, it's quite easy to know what the glider will encounter in his way back to you. Because when you feel a gust of wind on, on you, if the glider is perfectly straight there and the gust comes from your back, it's, it's clear the glider will get the gust too. So it's quite easy. But if your glider come back straight from there, you don't know what's coming from here, unless you have some trees, some really high, high weeds or something like this. You don't know what's coming from there. So you don't know if you will encounter a wind gust or a sink or a thermal. So you need to keep some margin. 
on you if you feel a gust most of time it will be a sick okay so just keep in mind if you feel a gust it will be a sink but before the sink hits the glider it will most likely be, be hit by a thermal because as a gust is most of times the end of a thermal so the front edge kind of so you need to feel the wind on you to know what your glider will get that's it so that's the first part now you know what is the gliding slope of your glider why should you not fly over your head because when it's over your head like this you can't see really what the glider is flying through but when it's a bit more further away you can see if the glider is climbing or descending it's way more easier way way more because <laughs> you can see yeah it's the the z axis <laughs> is way more visible and uh, that's why it's as simple as this it's because you can see way better the the altitude change of the glider if it's over your head you can't tell really much even a meter it's it's really ridiculous uh, the point of difference that make when you fly at the correct distance and height because there I know not before it's really hard to know when it's before 45 degrees I will say if you're looking at more than 45 degrees up it will be hard to know um, if your glider is climbing or not when you know really really well your glider you will feel it in the stick kind of but before that <laughs> you need to see it and uh, because if you can't tell perfectly the reaction of your glider by just a tiny movement like uh, now with more than two years on the stick of the energy I know that <laughs> I can feel it if even if I'm missing a bit of practice um, but when you know the glide slope of your glider the glide rate the, yeah you understood me um, of your glider you know how far you can fly from you and come back but when you don't know it sometimes you, you will just follow the thermal I will try to catch this one but right now because it's synced I know I will not land at my feet <laughs> even if right now the air is kind of good okay so yeah that that's about it learn to know your glider just learn it because you need to experience the glide ratio and how well it can come back with different ballast at different weight in different weather to know when you can come back or not and it's really useful in contest because uh, if you are too far in contest and you can't land in the, in the zone it's zero at the flight so yeah zero point it's kind it, it hurt but uh, yeah that's pretty much it I hope you like this video sorry if there is a bit of wind noise uh, there is a bit of wind right now so yeah thank you for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe like comment what you want to see next and see you in the next video. Bye.